I know that I said I would be posting every week. I'll see you guys next week because I'm just going to start uploading weekly. The reason I have been missing and haven't been posting vlogs uh, for the last month is because me and Kayla are going to have a baby. All right, if this vlog gets 15,000 likes, you want to have a baby? Solar? 15,000 likes, we'll have a baby. What do you think? Really? I don't know how many likes you got on your vlog. In that vlog, you know, past 15,000 likes, so. Um, when my kid actually sees that vlog and realizes he was made because I got 15,000 likes on a vlog, he's probably gonna get bullied. But maybe we can nickname him like, you know, like 15K or something. You know, I, yeah. No, it doesn't sound very cool, actually. But before I get into all of that, let's check out my new house that we just moved into. We packed up all of our stuff, drove to the house, and celebrated. First morning in the house, Kayla's making me some pancakes with no pants on. I'm a lucky dude today. But you know what this this breakfast reminded me of? You know those movies where like a family will cook like this crazy, stacked up, amazing, picture perfect meal, and then the kid takes one bite of his pancake and says, "Sorry, mom, I gotta go." And then he runs out the door. That's what this looks like. And I think it's safe to say that our neighbors they love us. Oh. This is not working. All right. House tour begins. Finally, after all this, I told you guys, dude, it's been like months where we were walking through, it wasn't done, and it's finally not all set up completely. Sorry, I sound like this, I got my retainers in. We, we have furniture for the most part, but this is the guest bedroom. When you walk into the right, we got two idiots. Um, yeah, they're getting it. That's where all the magic happens for my guests, right there. Guest bathroom. We don't really care too much about that, but yeah. Got everything. Other guest bedroom. It's really just our storage room right now. A bunch of crap is in here. Hey, knock it off. We got the garage. This is my favorite part of the house. Sadly, one of my cars is not here. It's in the shop getting fixed. So Kayla gets the garage for about a week. Maybe, we'll see. This right here is the office. This is where my magic happens, where I edit all my videos, everything, dude. This is, this is Kayla's even got her own desk in here. And then I've been doing a little bit of reading as well, just trying to open up different parts of my brain. You walk out of the office space, laundry room, tiny little laundry room, but hey, Kayla's got two offices. Then the big ass kitchen. I guess it's not that big, but it's so open. We don't have a kitchen table yet, so it's super, it just, what are you guys looking at? It's just, I like it, I like it. I like how open it is. Living room, just got this couch actually. Thank God we finally have a couch out here. I'll be impressed. If you can guess the size of this TV right here. Well, dude, will you give me some space? The master bedroom, I know, I know. I'm, I'm very frugal and I have not bought a bed frame yet. Please do not roast me on that. Master bedroom, the bathroom. Kayla's taking a huge dump right now. And we got a nice little yard, but our grass is just dying because we live in an HOA neighborhood and for some reason for the first two months our irrigation never went on. I was manually turning it on. Then I got told to not turn it on. So now they just, I think they fixed it yesterday but our grass is basically done so. I'm doing this whole tour thing and you are taking a shower. Yeah. The people wanna see you get in the shower. Well, all right. My beautiful closet, of course, Massive, right? Huge. Until you realize Kayla's got a spare bedroom for a closet. What are you doing? So I spoke with our doctor and he said, if we want to start having kids, I need to take a fertility test to make sure my sperm count is healthy. What the hell is this stuff? Is this like lube? I don't know. Wait, what did that say? Wash your hand and penis. I'm not washing my penis. Um, I can't do it for you. You have to do it yourself. And you can't use lube, lotion, or saliva. Are you kidding me? They said you can't ejaculate for two days before you're testing. At least two days. It was definitely harder than I thought to go two days without nutting. That's for sure. You spit.
spilled it on the rug. I get out. Go. One more attempt. Attempt number two, we got the specimen we needed. Not going to show you guys because I'll, you know, get deleted on YouTube. And then we're just taking it to the post office, ship it, and then we get the results a week later. All right, it's been a week and a half. We got our sperm stats. I'll call them sperm stats. Got them back. Kayla's going to read them off to us. What do we got? It says you had five milliliters of semen. 70% of your sperm was swimming. You had 32 million swimming sperm in your sample. That's good, right? I think so. Can we look up what the average sperm count is? What is the average sperm count? 20 to 150 million. So I'm in the median. I'm... Wait, that means I don't have a whole lot. Does that mean I'm like on the lower? Yeah. But I'm... that's still average, right? I mean, you're in the range, but you're not in the high range. <laughs> but five milliliters, that's, that's a f load.